Good evening, everybody. Thank you for joining this Zoom call. Um, if everybody would be that nice and mute yourself, that would be great. Um, we have like, now it's exactly six o'clock. First of all, great that so many people are on this call right now. Um, makes me pretty happy. Um, tough times, I hope all of you went through this safe um, with your family and friends. Um, I wanna start this Zoom call with a big thank you to, uh, to a lot of people right now. Um, I wanna start first of all, uh, with some of our sponsors who supported us this year, um, talking specifically um, Sobermans, Freydat, um, Mob Craft Beer, Confluence Graphics, um, Splat DPI. Um, in those days that we had, that was not easy for them because everybody struggled, they're still struggling. So um, for me, it was really important to you guys, um, if you, uh, you want to get a good lunch, good dinner, sober man. <clears throat> yeah, they did, they did a lot for us, you all also know, and I know she doesn't want me to do this, but Melanie Solman is on our board. So um, if you can, sober man, great food. Um, then I want to say thank you in general to our board. What is uh, Bonnie Peplinski, Melanie Soberman, Chris Norton, and uh, Jen Shera. They do so much work in the back. Um, they support me so much. Um, I couldn't do this all by myself right now. They sometimes keep me in place. So, uh, and they put so much effort in. Um, without them, it would be, we wouldn't be that far as we are. We'll be going to talk a little bit later. And then a big shout out <clears throat> to the Sturridge and the Crawford family. They volunteered all the games. And well, not only this, whenever there's anything to do for the Torrents, they're here right now. They're here also. They said it's up with me. Um, so the storage family is, um, they sit at the game, at the, at the gate, at least Andy, uh, one of our bouncers. Um, and then the Crawford, Jen Crawford, she does the merchandise and uh, Jeff Crawford sits with Andy at the gate. So they put effortless hours into this um, to make this happen, okay? So now, that's, that's for it right now. So why are we here today? Well, the Milwaukee Torrent is now, we're on our fifth year, founded in 2015. Um, and it is, like I said, for everybody a tough year. There are many clubs who folded, who are much older than the Milwaukee Torrent and they didn't make through it. I think <clears throat> for us, it was a very smart decision again that we canceled the season as early as we did. Um, it was also a smart decision that we canceled that event tonight, even if I would have loved to see all of you, even that Soul Man's had a great safety plan in place, but um, it was just not like with playing the right thing to do. So I don't know, I wanna go a little bit back five years ago, how did it all happen with the Milwaukee Torrent? Um, I got a phone call from the NPSL, they said, Andy, we lost um, the franchise in our team in, in Milwaukee, <clears throat> but was at this point of the Milwaukee Bavarians that I, worked, that I was in the, in the NPSL with. And after I left the club, they, um, they didn't want to go further. And the league asked me to do this, to jump in. And I said, okay, not a problem, but everything needed to really go, go fast and took like 48 hours till that decision was made that we do this. Um, we choose the name Torrent, so two reasons. Uh, obviously, the Torrent is a strong word with the water. Milwaukee is a um, clean, clean water city of, of the US. We have Lake Michigan. Everybody wants water. As most of you know, I didn't want to have anything with beer, bricks, or cheese because we have enough of this in Milwaukee or in, in Wisconsin. Um, but then also there is, and, and I think many of you don't know this yet, there's the history of the name Torrent with a fire ship. Um, the Torrent is a fire ship that uh, the city of Milwaukee bought that ship in 1922 and it was stationed at the Cherry Street Bridge and it, um, it worked on the Milwaukee River uh, till the late 40s 
and it was a tugboat and it was a fire ship. And um, I really thought at this point, this is obviously a great combination of, of the name Torrance with the connection with, with this ship. Um, now we're five years in and what we're going to do right now is something that you're going to see first. I'm going to show you a little, a little video and I want that you enjoy this video. I want that you get some goosebumps. So I'm going to share my screen here now and I just let this float, okay? Video goes a little bit over, over two minutes, okay? And, and uh, so I share the computer sound. So I would like to introduce you to the FC Milwaukee Torrance. See, I changed uh, my outfit a little bit. Um, I would like now, um, I want to think that a little bit. This is the first of three announcement, announcements today, okay? Um, I wanna share the screen now again, and I just want, I just want that you can see this again. So I think it had was some time for you now to see what uh, we're doing here. Why did we change the logo? That is for me, it was for me something um, very important to do. The logo was not really Milwaukee-like. It was, as I said before, it was something we needed in 48 hours and I was never really, really happy with, with the logo. It was a great logo. It will always be our first logo. Um, why did we make the decision about this logo? So there was a lot of influence, obviously, from, from Bayer Leverkusen in Germany. Um, 
they worked with us a lot. Most of the work did Robert in England. Um, from uh, he did an unbelievable job. He did so much research. So I want to explain a little bit how it came to that logo. So obviously, with with not only my background as the owner, but also with uh, with Wisconsin um, having having one of the the biggest German immigrants, it was it was clear from the beginning that that we're going to have like a German shape crest. You see, Milwaukee is one of the largest German Ancaster populations in the U.S. Stated that 60% of residents residents in the greater Milwaukee area have German ancestry. As a nod to this heritage, we take our new shape from the German crest. Okay. Um, the colors. You all know the Milwaukee flag. Um, you also know that obviously the Milwaukee flag has an anchor in there. So the shades of blue, um, we took those two from the Milwaukee, Milwaukee uh, flag. It's basically not as much different as the blue that, that we have. It fits really, really nicely on what we had before. So um, it is again, something more that people can say, yes, this is Milwaukee. The fonts, why did we choose this fonts? Um, and then I get away a little bit back to the breweries that we have here. Um, it, is, it is a font that is basically old German, what is also a mix of Scandinavian. Uh, well documented Milwaukee is a city known for its historic history and, and beer production. And we wanted to have something about this um, in, our, in our new logo. And I think the font is, is perfect. Uh, it really fits well. And um, again, it goes to both Germany and to the US. Now the anchor. So anchored together, as you can see, the anchor itself, the bottom makes an M for Milwaukee and the top is a T for Torrent, so Milwaukee Torrent. Um, there you see on the top right, is actually a picture of the Torrent of the fire ship. Um, an anchor stands for so much. It's a symbol of strength, but also hope and moving forward for the, for the future. Um, for the plans that we have, I think it was not only a great symbol for the Milwaukee Torrent, but it stands also for the city of Milwaukee. Um, it is, like I said, in the, in the city flag um, that anchors down at the marina. So it was a perfect fit. Um, we, kept, we kept that logo pretty classic. We had obviously the choice, do we want something completely new modern? Do we want something that is classic and one of the things that we decided as a board is, and really important, and that was the most influential input uh, from, from Bayer Leverkusen, was pretty easy and simple. You do not want to have a logo that you look at and people think of something else. That was the first thing. Yeah, And um, I think when I look at this logo and I looked at it for the last three months, this is how long we're, we're working on this. Um, as more I looked at it, as more I said, you know what? There's nobody really who has this. I, I think when, when I, I think the, the mascot of the, of the Admirals, he, he has something with an anchor, but as an existing logo, there's really no club who has that, at least, at least not that, that I know. And um, we put obviously the FC in, because as of right now, we are a football club. We, when we started with only the men's team, there was not a club, right? I mean, it was one team. When we added the women, we're on the right track. Still, it's only two teams. But now with the addition of the Super Y with all the kids, and I can, can you give you an update? We have already more than 100 kids registered for the Super Y next year. What I am completely proud of, we are a club. And um, this, is why, um, this is why we put the FC in there. Um, I'm sorry. Um, I hope you can um, you accept this logo. You can identify most importantly with this logo because it is absolutely Milwaukee. Um, when I came here 11 years ago, the city and the people here, obviously also outside of Milwaukee, I would say the state of Wisconsin, they gave me a chance to make uh, to realize a dream. And uh, I always wanted to give, to give something back. And I think with that logo, 
I hope we get much more identification in the state of Wisconsin and the city of uh, Milwaukee. So we love this logo. I'm going to go back to the, I'm going to share the screen again. So <clears throat> the home jersey, I just wanted to, wanted to show you this. Uh, there's obviously not much that's going to change, right? Um, going, we're going to, going to have here the one without our sponsor here, obviously is the logo with our sponsor Atlanta Mortgage. Um, all the jerseys that you can that you can buy from now, um, we're going to have that that jersey on it. So, for me, important now is, and this will be the second announcement. We're going to have a new away jersey, and we are going to have for the first time an alternative jersey. And I would like to present you now those jerseys. Okay. So I hope you're ready. Here's our away jersey for the 2021 season. You see the Milwaukee Lighthouses in there. You see the jersey has all those water sparkles on it. Um, I don't know if you know, we by Leverkusen actually found out that the Milwaukee Lighthouse is in the top three pictures that gets downloaded from people um, in, uh, who, who download pictures of Milwaukee. The Lighthouse also is on the first government seal that the state of Wisconsin has. That Lighthouse is on there. So again, completely identification with the city of Milwaukee. Here you see it a little bit more details. Uh, I think, um, and I quote the president from Hummel, the best jersey we've ever made. Just so you know, those jerseys will be uh, available from later tonight in our store. I'm going to show you now the jersey with our sponsor. Um, for us, it was important, and again, thank, thanks to Inlanta Mortgage. Um, you see, normally a jersey sponsor is right over the chest. Uh, this one will be a little bit below, so that we can have that great, that great jersey um, or the great lighthouse that we can see that. This is how it's going to look uh, on the back. So now it's time for you or for me to present you the alternate jersey. And this is a jersey at this kind, what nobody else in the world has. So I'm pretty happy to present you our alternate jersey. You're going to see this jersey has the street map of Milwaukee on top of the chest. And you see the Lakeshore, Lake Michigan on the side. Um, I am absolutely thrilled about this jersey. This jersey is absolutely unique in his style. Um, it will get recognition all over the country. And I'm, don't, I don't think I'm too far when I say it's going to get recognition all over the world. Here's it with, um, with our jersey sponsor. Um, I am so proud of those two jerseys. The back is just really, really, uh, really normal. Um, I hope those jerseys had a wow factor. Those jerseys will have, again, all the people who bought last year's season tickets, all the cities are on all three jerseys at the bottom. So all the names are on there, the city names. Um, I couldn't be I couldn't be happier how those jerseys how those jerseys were uh, um, how they came out. A big thank you to Robert to England who did this. Um, this whole process took us six months, a half year with endless putting education uh, putting things in. You saw the video. Um, there were drone drone shots from the city of Milwaukee. Um, I hope 
you, everybody here on the, on the, on the call is totally excited about this, uh, as I am. Um, I don't know through how many different logo variations we went. Um, the jerseys, we get the jerseys are available from youth medium all the way to double extra large. Um, as, soon, as, soon as, our, as soon as our call is done, they will be available in, in the store. Um, on Monday, they will be available at Stefan's. Um, we are absolutely happy that we made that step after five years. Um, we are happy to finally have the letters FC in, in our shape or that we, as, a, as, as our service, our club, that we really say, we are now a, a football club, a soccer club, football club. For me, it was important that we do the F and not the S. Um, again, thank you to all those people who put the effort and the work in the endless board meetings that we had, those discussions, the early, early meetings in the morning with England, with, with Germany, with Bayer Leverkusen to discuss this, to get their input. Um, it is something where I also, as, as an owner, where I say right away now, this is finally the logo that I always wanted. And again, for me, very important that there's a much higher identification with this, okay? Um, before we go, I would like for you that you can give us some, some questions and I, I do some answers, but before we do this, I'm going to, to share the screen again. And uh, you can imagine with something big like this, there comes a lot of new merchandise with. Um, we obviously, we made that decision that we don't want to over, 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 um, overdo too much um, merchandise. So we're going to have here, we're going to have, for example, a few new scarves. And I'm just going to let the images like 15, 20 seconds, uh, the images there, um, the, like I said, our store will be, will be open in a little bit. It is the online store. It is not Stefan's. It is our merchandise store of the Milwaukee Torrance. Um, what I also want to tell you is, and I don't know how you see this, this logo in black, our logo in black looks absolutely sharp. So you're always going to see obviously a variation where we use the blue logo, where we're going to use um, the black logo. Uh, we also made that decision that we keep, of course, our hashtag light the fire, but I think that hashtag anchored together is going to say a lot about the Milwaukee Torrent, about the people who support the Torrent, uh, the family that, that we are. And um, you're going to see, like I said, also now when we go through that merchandise, you're going to see a lot of variations with the logo. Those caps, for example, um, they have actually, it is a patch and it's a rubber patch. So you can actually, if you go over it, you're going to feel the letter F, the letter C, it is, it is really cool. Here's the normal white, white um, cap that we, that we always had um, with the black logo. Um, here's our normal, the, the snapback that we always have. So, brand new Milwaukee Torn face mask. Finally, then still made that decision. Some of you know my opinion about this. Um, made that decision that we're going to have those face masks. Um, I think, again, in black, looks pretty cool. Uh, for some people who like to drive motorcycles or you rather, you rather drive uh, or wear an, um, a gator, here you go. Um, the backside of this gator actually has the Milwaukee Torrent logo at the top. Um, so obviously you can use it many different occasions. Here are some shirt samples that we would like that we would like to share with you. Um, again, I really think that uh, with the black, white, we have so many variations. It is really cool. White t-shirt with the blue. Standard black, not distressed. We tried, we tried to keep our, our style the way it was before. Many of you 
like the normal logo, but many of you also really like the distressed logo. Um, this is completely brand new. Uh, it's, I think it's a great T-shirt with the with the Wisconsin State and with with our skyline a little bit. Have the Torrent logo in there. Um, I think that will be one of our best sellers. Here's the ladies, specifically for the ladies, the the Bella three quarter baseball shirt. Finally, many of you bought that hoodie. Now we also added this as a, as a black sweater with our new font, with the skyline and with the logo. So if people don't want um, the hoodie, they can have this. Everything, everything you see here now is in, is in stock. I have everything here. Normal gray sweater with the blue logo. You're going to see also um, some items, they're going to have the Milwaukee Torrent. A font on it with a diamond. When the logo gets smaller, it won't have the diamond, just the diamond is balanced out. The word Milwaukee in comparison to Torrent, that's why the two diamonds are there. I think it looks pretty neat. Here's the hoodie with the new logo and with the new font. Distressed sweater. Many of you like that distressed style. And that's it so far. So store is online. Um, before I'm going to start a Q and A, probably the, the, I'm going to talk a little bit about what many of you probably hope we would publish today. And this is our move to the third division. That move up to the third division is not off the table. Yeah. We are closer than ever. It is not easy. It doesn't matter if it's NISA or USL. To be honest, USL is obviously a little bit harder than NISA. However, we are going to, or we're working and we're going to apply in August 2021, or at the latest October 2021, to become a Division Three status team. That is not off the table. This is what we're going to do. Um, we are around about 70% there where we have to be. Uh, I know there will be maybe some people tonight disappointed about this, but we're also, please do not forget, it's 2020 and we're under a shutdown uh, for six months. I have friends who own a soccer club, they fold it. I have friends who cannot play next year. Um, we're going to play next year. So I am pretty thankful for this, that we can play. I'm pretty thankful for all of you um, that you stick with us. Uh, we get tremendous support. Um, it, is, it is more, as, as you know, m many people always say, yeah, well, why don't you just apply for Division Three? That is not as easy as many, many people think. Many people don't know. I mean, what, what you can do, everybody is able to go online and um, Google the professional standard lines. Uh, that what you need for the third division. And then we're talking about territory rights. And, and it's not that easy. And it's not like, like other clubs where, where the club is owned by, by millionaires or big time investors. That's just not the case for us. However, I don't, want, I don't want that you, any of you forget or always repeat sometimes, the Milwaukee Town is a club that is run, um, was started by one single guy. And you have to imagine or you have to think about where we are right now. We're only five years old. We have a men's team where if, I don't care if some people say professional or not, we are professional. Um, we have that women's team that plays in the second highest division in the US. We're going to start the Super Y. Um, we're doing all the stuff with the Boys and Girls Club. Um, we're doing those trips to Germany. We're going to, we're going, and I can, I can say this now, we're going to have a, a much deeper relationship with Bayer Leverkusen. Things are working in our way. Yeah? And it is one step after another. Um, trust me, for me being German, I'm not patient at all, as many of you know. However, it broke my heart when I canceled that season this year. We are so lucky that we did this, that we canceled the season. Um, 
we just need to be a little bit more patient. And I don't want to explain more why we can't go USL, why can't we go NISA, what do you need there? Everybody is able to, to look it up online and, um, and really figure out what do you need for USL. And you know what? It's sometimes not even the money part. Uh, it's sometimes not even that. There, there's so many things. We obviously we qualify with with Hard Park with our stadium. Um, I can also just announce that we obviously we signed a new contract with Hard Park. That's great. We will be there next year again. Um, so I, I don't. I know there is many people had the hopes that this would be the announcement today. However, I can tell you we're going to apply next year August and October. Um, I'm going to explain why August and October. So there are two different deadlines. If you apply for August, then the following year, you're allowed to play already in the spring. If you apply in October, um, you're, going to, um, you're going to start playing in the fall. I mean, it was the case just for the Chicago NISA team that comes in with Peter Wills. Um, they're going, the process was, was done by the end of October. So this is why they start playing in the fall. Um, I would be I would be really willing and really happy if uh, if you shoot me some questions um, can be can be on on speaker can be um, can be on on a, on the chat whatever you would like to do um, that is that is fine with me you have any questions to the to the logo about the logo or anything else just let me know. nothing so far okay just do me do me do me is anybody impressions about the logo that anybody would like to share i think it's fantastic andy this is simon um i did have a question for you um yeah are you going to be are you going to be sending out a press release to see if um you know any of the media outlets in milwaukee will jump on this and yeah and maybe so, hype this up yeah. so for me, for me, it was obviously important that the people who are on this phone call, you are the first one who know about this. Press release are sent out. We're going to, we officially have our press release tomorrow. What I'm going to do after this phone call or after the Zoom meeting, we're just going to post the video, nothing else. Just the video, change the profile pictures, no other information. Um, I wanted that the people who couldn't wait for this announcement, who want to be on this, I want that you are the first one who hear about this, that you got the first rights. Um, if it would have been, if we could have have made that event at Sobermans, press was invited, TV was invited, as you know, we can't, we can't do it. But yes, it will be, it will be published. We hope many jump on. I know Dario Melendez from ESPN is going to jump on it right away because he loves jerseys in general when he saw when we published last year um the skyline jersey he was right away on it um hummel is we're going to make a big big thing about this um because again i think and excuse my language those are really sick jerseys the jerseys are beautiful um it's yeah we're going we're going to, to answer your question simon tomorrow will be the press release and we're going we don't even publish the jerseys tonight that was just for you. The jerseys will be published um, tomorrow. Okay. Are the jerseys available in long sleeve? As of now, no. I have all I have all uh, short jerseys here. However, it shouldn't be a problem for Hummel to make them. Another thing that I would really like to share with you guys is that the jerseys finally, not finally, but the jerseys are made in the U.S. So for me, it was also important that to put the economy up again, help the economy a little bit. So all of our jerseys, they will be made now in California. And I have a turn, even that they're supplemented, um, jerseys will take only eight days. So it is pretty, pretty cool. I'm totally thrilled about this, that we have finally a solution in the US. Um, and you will see the jerseys when you, when you look at the, at the color, they say made in the US. Um, so pretty happy about this. So um, we won't have we won't have um, the size problems that some of you had with uh, before because it was more the European sizes. Now that they are made in California, um, they have. Um, <laughs> 
Yes, Jerry, I see. Um, Andy, I'm very excited about the U.S. sizes. <laughs> now us larger athletic guys can look good in your jerseys. Thank you. There, there you go. You're welcome. Um, so Beat me I, to the punch, Jerry. I was gonna. I need. I was like, me and Jerry, double XLs. We need them. Right on. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is um, this is pretty. I'm I'm happy about this. I mean, before it was they, they went to China. Um, but we sometimes, some of you know, we had a little bit of trouble, and it's not Hummel. So I'm pretty. It's pretty cool that Hummel found that solution um, in California. Um, so it is, and the turnaround time is just amazing. Before it was like six weeks. Now it's really just eight days. Um, another message here from the Walkers. Um, Walkers, I'm sorry. The jerseys for the Super Y stay the way we presented them. Of course, they're going to have the new logo. Okay. So um, that's 100%. Um, you know, I didn't about, about this. Thank you, Nick, for the compliment. I didn't want to, for me, it was important with the super as many of you know me, I didn't want to make this more expensive, at least not in the first year. Okay. I could have said, okay, it's this and this more because of those new jerseys. I didn't want this. I, you, you walk us and everybody, you know me. I want that, that you see, why are we doing this? Uh, we're not doing this to make, to make really money off this with the super Y. We want the, we want to give the kids, uh, we want that they have an opportunity in, in the summer. And um, so, Next season or the second season, for sure, they're going to have the same, the same jerseys. Um, so I hope Walker can answer your question. I'm really sorry um, for that this year. But it, it, was, it was a decision that, that, I made, that I made by myself that we don't go there yet, just because I didn't want to make that, I wanted, didn't want to make it more expensive for the families who joined the Super Y. Hey, Andy, uh, could I comment real quick? Um, I, I like the anchor because it, it does speak to the uh, shipping heritage that uh, led to the foundation of Milwaukee in the first place. You, you know, the, the reason why Milwaukee exists is because it was the good land at the junction of the Milwaukee, Kinnikinnick, and Menominee rivers, and shipping was was the whole purpose for the existence of Milwaukee in the first place. So, so I, I, I really like that. It does speak to the heritage. Um, I also like that um, on the map, on the on the third kit, it's cream. It, it's it's cream. It's it's colored in cream. So it's it's a, Correct. it's a, it's a, a shout out to the days when we were known as Cream City. So so yeah, I I, I really like it. I like the concept. Um, and and it and it it it, it feels authentic to me. So um, good job. That was that was very very important to me that um, I didn't even get to this with the with the Cream City Jason. Thanks for saying this. Um, you need you need you need to understand that this was a process that people did who didn't even live in the city. You know, um, I mean, when I think about all those those phone calls that I have with Germany or with with England, um, I mean, purchasing those those. Um, um, those drone videos, I think, and again, I cannot thank them enough. Um, and there, there will be a bigger shootout later. I cannot thank them enough for the work they put in for the Milwaukee Tarns that there is hopefully, I know from you guys, of course, but hopefully a much, much bigger identification with the Milwaukee Tarn now, because this logo is totally Milwaukee. It is maybe not as modern as people would like to see it. Uh, um, it is maybe not that spectacular, spectacular like other logos, but it's the history of Milwaukee. And this is important, the identity that people have identification with something. And um, having, having the, the jerseys with, with the Cream City, uh, I'm, I'm going to tell you the the, the goalkeeper jersey or the, whole, the home goalkeeper jersey stays orange. The goalkeeper jersey, the away goalkeeper jersey is completely in red. Uh, I didn't want to put them now also in the PowerPoint, but I'm telling you this. And the alternative goalkeeper jersey with the map is actually green. Uh, so they're also pre pretty sharp looking. Um, and again, I couldn't, I couldn't be happier with, with all this outcome. Again, thanks to also to, to the board members, um, to Bonnie, to Jen, to Melanie, and, and to Chris. Um, 
putting all the info in and all my uh, mails look this, you like this and this and that. Um, it is, I am super happy about it and it's finally where I look at the logo. And again, I don't want to say that old logo, I didn't like it, but I, it was to me not enough Milwaukee. And it was for me important that all the people from Milwaukee to support me, that I give something back with that logo. Uh, that was very important to me. And like I said, I think with the help from, from the people who worked on this, um, it worked out tremendously. I, like I said, I couldn't be any happier. We have so much history in the Milwaukee Torrance, you know, where people say really when we are 20, 30 years old, we can say, look, this club, we're talking about the fire ship. We're talking about the anchor. We're talking, we're talking about so many things, the color, the color of, of, the, Milwaukee, um, of the Milwaukee flag. The sea with the with the, the lighthouse the the seal was on the government government seal uh, the lighthouse sorry the lighthouse was part of a government seal I think that was the first seal in the in the late 1800s uh, um, I think many people don't even know that 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 lighthouse is in that seal uh, but you you can Google it you can you can find it um, absolutely great and um, yeah. So again, we are to, as you, I think you can see again, I'm totally happy about this. Um, and, and I love that we, that we have this. Um, do you have any, any other questions? Any, any, anybody, I don't know, maybe I know Bonnie, Bonnie is on the call. Melanie Soldman is on the call, on the call. Chris, maybe one of our board member would like to say something. Katra, do you want to say something? Because people sent me a text. I should tell you to move because I think you're not alive. There you go. The only thing then I want to say is that I cannot wear the jersey to play a little bit. You know? <laughs> <laughs> it's too nice. <laughs> you know, I wish I could play a little bit. You know? <laughs> Andy, uh, it's Brendan Clone calling. Um, Hi, Brendan. How are you doing? Good. How are you? Good. Good. Love Ladies love and gentlemen, you. Well, Brendan, one second. This is Brendan. We have a history. Ben, Brendan Clone was in the, was it the first two years, Brendan? Yes, yes. Brandon, first Brandon, first season. Brandon was a kind of an intern and he did press releases for us. So in the first year and he is, um, where do you live now, Brandon? I'm in Colorado. Colorado. So see, you see, yeah. he still follows us, supports us. So now you see again, there's a little bit of history. Brandon, there you go. What, hey, what, everybody. <laughs> um, up the T's. Uh, anyways, um, as far as like the the crest redesign, um, was there a specific designer? And if so, was that their first time designing, redesigning like a crest logo for, no. for soccer specifically? No, he does his, so he's from England. It's, it's, uh, it's the custom club sports crest. Uh, he did several, um, several uh, logos. And um, I mean, this guy, he's phenomenal. Um, again, like uh, got the information from Bayer Leverkusen about him and again Leverkusen did a lot of input you have to think it's always you couldn't buy Leverkusen couldn't do it obviously you know you have to but um, that gentleman the work he put in it was tremendous again what he sent me what he did and it was unbelievable so but he is he is well known in the soccer community he does um, he does a lot of logos but I tell you one thing he, he said to me already in his portfolio, this logo will be the, the first one he's going to show people. Wow. Just because, again, just because of the history of it, what was into it. If you, the combination, he obviously also designed the jerseys. If you, if you take all those pieces of this, I now, and, and I'm, I'm going to take now that, that, that example with forward medicine, um, with the flamingos. I, for example, I had no clue that there's really a history about this with the flamingos. So now people know who maybe don't know what is really historic, historically in, in Milwaukee, the Torn fire ship, the anchor, the lighthouse. I mean, we could have put the Calatrapi on it, but it doesn't have that history than the lighthouse. For me, it was important and for him that this lighthouse was on the, on the government seal that they used in the late 1800s. And obviously then the anchor in the Milwaukee flag. So in my opinion anyway, um, there are, he couldn't hit it better with those two objects with the anchor and with the lighthouse anybody else anything to share anything to say okay 
So then for me again, um, sorry for the little technical difficulties at the beginning. I'm just a soccer guy. Um, thank you for being with me on this trip so far. Um, means a lot to me. Um, thank you for all the people. I mean, also when I have here, I mean, everybody just, I didn't even mention like the Habanex, how many people, it doesn't matter if you, if you throw ideas to me, there's so many of you who helped me who come up with ideas. Um, all of this, all of this, if you guys know me or not, all of this wouldn't be possible without you. Right. And I say this again, I don't care if there are 10 people in the stands or a thousand, um, it's worth everything, every tear, every, every, every time I sweat, every blood, not that I give blood yet so far, but it's worth everything. And Jason, don't worry, you get your torn curls next year again. Yeah, so, <laughs> so of course the torn curls will be back. Yeah, that is, that is not a problem. Is um, Jason? Who's Jason? Both Jason, T-Man, oh, our T-Man. Yeah? Nice. Um, Jerry, I know this would be your next question, but again, That's right. <laughs> Again, thanks, thanks for everything. Please be patient with us with Division 3. We need to do things the right way. And don't forget, um, it, is, it is 2020. Um, we can be really happy that the Milwaukee is still there. Um, I wish all of you right now, um, I mean, we're getting close, obviously, to the holidays, that everybody stays healthy, your families, your friends. Um, and it's unfortunate that we couldn't do this meeting in person. So, but better safe than sorry, right? I am, like I said, with the season, I'm responsible for so many things. I also didn't want to, didn't want to put uh, Melanie Solomon in an awkward situation. You know, when people on social media, you know how social media is. I didn't want that we have this event and we're going to get ripped apart. Nobody deserves this, specifically not Sobermans, um, they go already as a as an entity through enough, and and please um, don't forget that they were always at our side, even through those hard times. Um, I know Melanie, you don't like that I do this, but um, that that means a lot that they did this, that they stick with us, and that they still support us, and that they didn't um, bail out on this. Okay, so again, thank you so much for being on this call. I hope you were still positively surprised, even when I probably know many of you hoped I would announce third division, it will happen. You know, so far, everything I said did happen. Uh, takes work. We have a great people on the board. We have great pop people around us. So we're going to try our best and please always, Please always remember, it could be worse. We couldn't play next year. We could fold it. We are not. We are there. We are stronger than ever. Uh, we are anchored together. Uh, I really love that. Um, we're going to light the fire. We're going to have new things coming up next year with the Super Y. We're going to have more people coming to the games. Uh, we're going to open because of the Super Y. We opened up to more regions, to more youth clubs. And I'm totally happy about everything. To me, again, thank you very much for all the support. Yeah. Enjoy the new logo. I don't want to tell you, go online now and shop, shop, shop. But please do. Yeah. Um, shop is online. Thank you very much. Enjoy the weekend. Thanks Andy, for support. Yeah. Andy, where do we find the online store? So it's our square. When you go on our homepage um, on, on the milwaukeetorn.com and you scroll down, you're going to see there are two stores. You're going to see the, the Stefan store and you're going to see the Torrent merchandise store. You have to click on the Milwaukee Torrent merchandise store. Yeah. Um, Stefan's, I'm telling this right away, Stefan's in the, again in the future, they're going to have the some of the Thank you, Chris. Chris uh, no, just shared the link in the chat. Um, Stephens will have, again, official Hummel gear at the store. As of right now, you can order Hummel gear. They won't be have much because they have to ship, they have to print. Everything that 
I just shared with you is on our online store and everything is here. So everything is in my house in storage, all three jerseys. Um, and I have to tell you one thing. And again, I'm going to say really, you have to think about this, getting a sponsorship like we just, like we, that we just got from Inlenta Mortgage is huge, it's big, a jersey sponsorship. Um, you cannot purchase any jerseys without the sponsorship logo. Uh, and again, I will be so proud to wear this jersey with a sponsorship on it because this company stepped up. Uh, they absolutely stepped up. They made it possible that we know we have a season next year for sure. And there's, there is identification with the torrent. Um, it was right away that, that they jumped in. Um, so that is in these days specifically not normal. And uh, thanks, to, thanks to Inlanta Mortgage for doing this. So all the jerseys, also the jerseys that are at Stefan's um, have the logo on it. I have everything here, everything ready for shipping. Um, I'm Monday morning off. I can go to the post office Monday morning, just so you know, right? Um, face masks are here, gators are here, everything is here. Again, thank you for joining. I hope with this announcement, it brought a little happiness in these, in these set days that we have. But again, let's be happy. The torrent is there. Hopefully we're all healthy. We all have our jobs and everything. Um, and have a good night. Thank you for being with me, for being with us. Also in the name of our board and all the sponsors, enjoy the rest of the night anchored together. Have a good night. Thank you. Night, Andy. Hey, good night. Job, Andy. Thank Great you. Hi, hey, everybody. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Well done, Andy. Thank you. Yeah, everybody be well, be safe. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. Love you guys. Love you, Jason. Thank you very much. Bye. See you Miss soon. You all.